Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and we're back again talking about the Marvels ending its proper theatrical run as the lowest performing entry of the entire MCU Disney to stop reporting weekend grosses. Well, yeah, because they don't want you to see all their amazing, amazing flops that they've had this year, including this dull crap of a movie. This comes to us from Bounding in the Comics. It's the end result that nearly everyone saw coming in adding one last negative franchise record to its running list of accolades. With its theatrical run coming to a close, the Marvels will officially go down in the history books as the at current lowest grossing entry in the entire MCU, which is now known as the MCU. Having hit theaters and on November 10th, the Marvel's industry standard four-week theatrical run came to a close on the weekend of December 3rd, at which time the MCU's latest entries total purse per box office tracking all of the numbers set at a measly 80 million domestically. Internationally, that same time frame saw the triple team up venture pull in just slightly more at 116 million, bringing the films worldwide to just 197 million, which I believe it took a $250 million budget. So it needs like, I think, was it one and a half? So roughly over 500 million to break even. It's going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. Dollars. For comparison, this worldwide total comes roughly 70k behind the previous hold of the title of the MCU's lowest grossing film, The Incredible Hulk, whose 2008 gamma irradiated outing ended its theatrical run with an international unadjusted for inflation gross of $265 million. The Hulk's performance already leaps and bounds over the Marvel's trios. The disparity between the two MCU entries becomes even more stark within the, when the cumul cumulative US 2008 to 2023 inflation rate of 42.9% is applied to the former film. In light of this calculation, the Incredible Hulk's theatrical box office gross can be equated to 379 million, a full 124K over the Marvels. Next to this abysmal performance, Disney announced on Monday that with the Marvels box office now winding down, we will stop weekend reporting of international status global, glo global grosses on this title. Notably, with the film still set to play in theaters until the, at least the new year, Disney's abandonment of the, of the Marvels appears is less falling victim to scheduling conflicts and more the company throwing in the towel on their greatest disappointment. As noted above, this bottom-of-the-barrel accolade is but the latest to be taken home by the glorified Disney+. Plus. Special. Previously, the Marvels set such a new, such new and historical MCU lows as worst opening box office, worst first Monday box office, and worst second weekend drop off. A record also holds for comic book films in general, beating out the previous winner of Morbius. All of which, like the above record, were previously held within the franchise by The Incredible Hulk. Yet, while there are numerous and apparent factors that led to audiences' general disinterest in the sci-fi caper, including but not limited to its poor script, less than popular lead actress, and heavy marketing focus on its post credit scene over anything else, Disney CEO Bob Iger believes that the Marvel's woes stem from two specific issues. Speaking to attendees during the recent 2023 edition of the New York Times Deal Book Summit, Iger specifically blamed the fail of Captain Marvel Photon and Miss Marvel to take off at theaters on nothing more than it being shot during the coup and there wasn't enough supervision on set from executives. However, unsurprisingly, Iger did not expand any further on these arguments. Of course, he did not because he really has nothing to say and he knows he's lying through his teeth. But I thought it was going to be so popular. I thought the first Captain Marvel made over a billion dollars, you know, considering that it was smack dab in the middle of two huge films, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, and they told you that it would be required film, a required film, to understand what goes on in Endgame, even though it was a complete dog crap movie. And no, you did not need to watch it to understand anything in Avengers Endgame. Shout out to Master of the TDS, of course. Go follow him on Twitter and YouTube. He is very close to 3,000 subs on YouTube. The Marvels has finally ended its abysmal box office run, making only $197 million and cementing its place as the lowest grossing MCU film in history. Despite this, many Marvel stands have come out of the woodwork to defend the film with a variety of excuses ranging from the strikes to poor promotion to YouTubers or even the, the Koof pandemic. Another wild one. Enjoy. Let's get right into it. The only MCU movie to come out at the end, it, it a strike, I'm just reading what it says, Having its promo season heavily impacted, fixed it for you. So what happened to the Mario Brothers movie? Over a billion. Barbie, over a billion. Oppenheimer, close enough to a billion. What happened to those movies? I'm sure those movies were made during lockdowns. 
but they weren't affected at all. It's only the MCU movies that get affected. The way everyone conveniently leaves out the fact that a majority of MCU's butt wipers purposely chose not to see this movie as comical. Even though the majority of the people that went to see this movie are men and not women, so why not blame the women for not watching this? And none of you people most likely went to see this movie anyway. The movie is actually good. You're fine. You can have that opinion. The dweebs just don't want to watch all women cast hero movies. They don't even give them a chance. Probably because people are so tired of all the garbage coming out of Disney Marvel. That's probably why. A good MCU movie, again, fine. Plagued by misogynists and crybabies. Women can be heroes. Yeah, everyone loved Wonder Woman. Or did you forget? Uh, everyone loved Alien. Or did you forget? Those have uh, movies that have women leads that were all successful. And where women were heroes. But y'all don't know about those, obviously. Because it wouldn't fit your garbage narrative. Your delicate booty feeling. Don't change that. The Marvels is ending its run as the lowest grossing MCU film in history due to the 2023 strike, which restricted actors from promoting films and the BDS protest boycotts of Disney Marvel. Those are the primary reasons. No, the primary reasons because the movie sucks. Word of mouth said the movie sucks, so no one went to watch it. And no one wants to watch three terrible actresses, which Iman Vellani has previously said that they should focus on making characters that people care about, which obviously no one cares about these characters. No one cared about these characters in the comics unless it was Miss Marvel the way she was before. Not Miss Marvel Kamala Khan. Mind you, we're in a pandemic. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> I know a lot of you MFing trolls are happy about that news. Yes. Yes, yes we are. Most likely the best joy you had since touching a department store mannequin. I don't care if it was... It, it, this is supposed to be, uh, I guess, another way to say incel. I don't care if it was a, It was still a fun film about three kick-ass women. Hashtag the Marvels. Good for you. We're happy that you can enjoy the movie. You can like bad movies. It's fine. It's going to be a cult classic. Just wait. No. No. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is a cult classic. This will be forgotten like a fart in the wind. Almost like there's a boycott. It got no marketing, and the Marvel fans are incredibly istin, is, istic, misogynistic. Yeah, because again, like I said about the previous comment, people definitely didn't go watch Alien and Wonder Woman. Yeah. Meanwhile, and, and the majority of people that watched this film were men. Honestly and fair, I know a majority of people didn't even try giving it a chance because they either had this vendetta against another movie led by women or because they want to be weird and not like Brie Larson. She sucks. The excuse of being too woke is redundant. It makes zero sense. It only makes zero sense to people that don't understand the definition of it. The women hating man children who start the hate train in the group think folks who couldn't go watch the movie for themselves are to blame. Oh, people just giving their opinions on YouTube, I guess. Even though those same people you claim that hate women love the Wonder Woman. Again, Elementals ran for the three months. This is so effing unfair. F U M C U. Holy crap, what the F? It's the highest grossing film for a black female director, though, so let's celebrate that. Highest grossing film to be a huge flop. That's not something to celebrate. In my opinion, it's because of how hated the first Captain Marvel was, because it was trash. Not based on how good or bad this movie is. Well, if I'm going to watch the first film, and I think it's trash, what would make me go watch the second one? If I'm going to be like, okay, the first one was trash, why would the second one be any better? Maybe if more promoted movies with female leads more, I guess. I mean, it was going to happen, and from watching she hulk it seemed that Disney knew how a lot of fragile men would react to some movies with women in them. Again, people liked Wonder Woman. People liked Alien. People liked Star Wars. Old Star Wars, not new Star Wars. Sequel Star Wars sucks. And played into it. I hope they're similarly unsurprised here and keep making fun movies despite the crybabies. They're not going to keep making fun movies. They're going to keep making garbage movies. It's not a bad movie. It sucks that some nerds couldn't get over there. It's an insult ways to, to recognize a decent movie. Again, this is an opinion, not a fact. It being a decent movie to you could mean it's a shitty movie to somebody else. Y'all let this slot because Twitter told you to. No, probably because people didn't like the first one. Why would they watch the second one? G 
Jesus people hate women, but they liked Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman and Ellen Ripley in Alien, or Sigourney Weaver would be the actress. Ellen Ripley is the character's name. Better movie than probably half the MCU movie that came before it. No, it's the most trash movie. That's why it's the lowest grossing movie. There's no actual reason this should have done worse than, especially Ant-Man Quantumanium and Thor Love and Thunder. Like, are you effing with me right now? These people can choke because this was one of the most entertaining Marvel movies I've seen in a while. You must not have been watching a lot of Marvel movies because No Way Home this is way better than anything that has come out recently. People already hate Captain Marvel because she sucks. Brie Larson sucks. Disney's ongoing boycott because they suck. The Hunger Games movie, the new one, sucks. I'm just sorry for her mom, Valani, to be honest. She deserved a bigger, big screen debut. Probably, she probably, she seems to have more respect for the audience than anyone that's working at Disney right now. I will never forgive the fandom for the way they treated these characters and their stories. All their stories suck, which is BS because this movie was actually really good. Your opinion. But y'all let social media trick y'all into thinking this was trash. It probably was trash. Maybe if it wasn't released during a strike and people could have promoted the movie paired with Marvel Fatigue and not keeping it in some theaters long, it would have done better. Well, that didn't affect Multiverse of Madness. That didn't affect Spider-Man No Way Home. That And uh, word of mouth says Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was good. So what's, your, what's really your excuse? S stop making them. It's just general misogyny combined with superhero fatigue. There is no superhero fatigue. There's garbage movie fatigue. Before you incels go on celebrating, and again, the majority of people that saw the Marvels were male. Says the whiny YouTube nerd boys. Again, it's just an opinion. Yet no one's taking responsibility for this movie's failure. The fans are disloyal, lazy bumps, anti-woke bomb, bombing trolls, sagwag strikes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's probably just a bad movie. Well, I would say it's a bad movie as well. It failed so bad they had to stop updates on it. Crazy this happened to happen to all girls movie only. Shake my head. We will see how it is for the future female content. I pray they don't get the wrong message. You mean the trash Young Avengers that's basically teased that's going to also suck? This was a good movie, but the reality is that theaters are dying and no one is exactly paying to watch this when it'll be out on Disney Plus eventually. Yeah, movie theaters are dying, but it did stop people from watching Mario, Oppenheimer, Barbie, Top Gun... Godzilla this past weekend. So, again, you're making excuses. It wasn't even a bad movie. Nerds just hate women. It's like it's like a repeat of nerds hate women. Meanwhile, again, films that featured women, like other ones, like I said, Wonder Woman and Alien and Star Wars, old Star Wars, succeeded. You can't continue to use this excuse. Oh, and Barbie. Barbie... Is the highest grossing film of the year. So, continue proof the world hates seeing women winning. Well, clearly, women wanted to see Barbie win, which they did, and then they didn't want to see Captain Marvel or the Marvels. Women are the ones that saw the Marvels less. I also try to remember that this was the only MCU movie that did not receive any marketing due to the historic Hollywood double strike. This movie was cool and fun and not even close to the worst thing Marvel's put out. Clearly it was. Don't DM me neckbeards. Argue with the ball. Yeah, because it sounds like you don't really believe what you're saying. Love that almost every article published about the failure of the Marvel's comedian leaves out there. No promotion press could be done due to the strike and that people somehow made this movie the face of the downfall of the MCU. Because it is. There's no way. I'd say give it some more time to be out. But if it's really the case, then chalk it up to the incels winning again. Keep it moving. No, chalk it up to Disney putting out garbage. And putting out mountains and mountains of garbage and flops. It's a good movie. The timing wasn't right. It's affected by the strike. And this but this has nothing to do with the movie being terrible. This movie was way better than most are making it out to be. Let's be real. The male Marvel fans consist of a lot of male chauvinistic women haters. That is why the box office struggled. Again. For like the fifth time, I'm probably seeing it in this video. Maybe even the sixth time. Men are the majority that saw, that saw this movie. You dummy. You should probably do research before you put out a dumbass tweet like this. Just like everyone who similarly put out a dumbass tweet like this. But again, shout out to Master of the TDS that, that put together this compilation of dumb tweets. So...
And of course, as usual, images are free to use in videos. All I ask is consider crediting me for compiling them, which I did. So at the end of the day, the Marvel sucked. It's the worst gross. In, it's the biggest flop for the MCU in recent years. And it will go down as being the lowest grossing movie of the entire MCU. But maybe I could be wrong about that. It could be possibly a worse film than that. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button, comment below. If you feel about all this, subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all that we get notifications anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.